eighth year of the Keio era, Japan neared the end of its feudal period. The shogunate, facing an uprising by the anti-government movement, asked France for military help in order to suppress the rebellion. As the French were unwilling to assist, the government turned to the American delegation that was visiting Japan at the time to negotiate the Japan-U.S. peace treaty. You see, America was known as the country which had established a unique scientific technology by combining its native Indian shamanism with alchemy from Europe. It was the utilization of this science which had allowed an infant nation to grow into a military giant within only one century. The American delegation's military entourage with its 20-gun mechanized unit was powerful enough to defeat three major armies of the anti-government forces in less than two weeks. As a result of this military intervention, as well as the peace treaty with America, forced upon the shogunate by these circumstances, Japan moved ever closer to becoming America's protectorate. Unrelated to these historical proceedings, deep in a mountain north of the capital city lived the descendants of the ancient gods, protecting their ancestors' secret treasure. Down through the ages their numbers had dwindled. Now there remained only an old couple and their granddaughter Rami. They alone kept watch over the treasure of the ancient gods. wooden ship appeared suddenly from the sky and attacked. the secret treasure. Good work. At last, this key is mine. And I wasn't there to stop them. I hate this. Hyper Cutie Bunny Chase! Huh? Rami, where have you been? Mm, well, I got hungry. So I went to the Mini Mar to get something to eat. First I thought I wanted a burger, but then... You were supposed to be guarding the key! Oh, you shame it in front of our oh, ancestors! Oh, shame! Oh, shame! Oh, shame on you! Oh, no. And what were you doing while they were stealing the key from us? You went to get a snack, you fool! Ow! You don't have to get so upset about a dinky key! You don't understand anything! It was Dr. Poon who stole it from us! A super intelligent raccoon! His IQ is 1400! Can you even guess how important that key is? Well, what is the key for? It's for the secret treasure! Then what is the secret treasure, Grandma? Don't ask so many questions! The only thing I remember is... Uh, it's called Ark! Ark? I wonder what it is. Dr. Poon wants to use the Ark to turn this planet into a raccoon world! Hey, why not? Sounds like fun! What a fool you are! It was totally your fault, you know that! You really should... Mm, I guess you'll never learn. Well, listen, Rami, until you get that key back, you will get no food! Wait! That's right! No key, no dinner! You'd better hurry and chase them down! I hate this. Hey, Spot, we gotta go. Spot? Are you still sleeping? Wake up! <laughs>
Sand Castle City. Push to start.
Hello. Testing. <clears throat> One, two, three. Testing. Oh, no. What is that? Attention. Attention. You up there on the dragon. Turn around and go home. Hey, you don't want to take on the U.S. Navy, do you? Go home, kid, before you get hurt. Ha! Are you kidding? If I go home empty-handed, my grandma will starve me to death. Better get out of my way. You think you can beat me with that toy ship? You got a lot to learn.
Chapter 4, Another Ambush. Push to start.
bad. This is mine now. <laughs> so this is the Ark? What do you want with this? You don't even know, do you? This Ark is a bionics factory. It contains state-of-the-art bioengineering technology with which you can create any kind of life form. Huh? Long, long ago, your ancestors came from a faraway planet in this ship. And the ship carried the cells of all kinds of creatures from their home world. Huh? I have no idea what he's talking about. Do you, Spot? Nah. When your ancestors arrived, the only life forms here were microscopic blobs of protoplasm. But using the cellular material from the Ark, they created a whole new breed of creatures and filled your planet with them. But nobody knew what their reasons were. Boring. Hey, let's do something fun. Yeah. You see, I am one of the species they created. I may look like a raccoon, but my brain is much bigger than that of a mere human. By using my super intelligence and the materials in this arc, I will turn the Earth into a world ruled by raccoons! Like me. <laughs> You're funny, Spot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't understand at all what I'm talking about, do you? Nope. This is a waste of time. Okay, let's start with you two then. Whoa! What's the matter? Cool! The Earth is sliding down the cliff! Spot, follow the Ark! Push to start!